obviously over the off season made a ton of awesome additions. What are you expecting from your newcomers as they get ready for spring ball? Here? You know, I expect them uh, to get on the field and compete right away. Uh, I think that room's going to be very competitive. Uh, like I ask uh, of all of them, what we're looking for is the, to the professionalism and the pain, uh, and the paying attention to detail of everything that the offense is bringing. Uh, of course, we're learning a new offense, so these 15 practices will be interesting. But paying attention to detail, how well do they transition from the classroom to the field? Uh, and uh, how well does that transition take place? And so that's something that uh, uh, I'm looking for. And are we getting better every practice? Practice habits and all of those things. And what excites you the most about your group in particular as, it, as you guys come together as a team and work in the spring session? You know, the, the thing that excites me, um, they're all very talented. Um, and then there's a multitude of things where uh, now some backs are better probably in the perimeter. Now we have the power backs, we have the complementary backs. So all six of those backs bring a, a little bit different attitude, but they're all competitive, they all run tough, they're mentally tough, and they're professional. So it now comes down to who's paying attention to detail and doing the things right all the time, and who separates themselves from, from uh, being the best back in the room. You, as a coach who's been here for the last head coach who's now, you've been here for a year with Kenny. Yes. Uh, how have you felt now that you've been working with Kenny for a year how this program has kind of evolved and gotten to the point where it is now? You know, I, I think Coach Dillingham has, has done an incredible job coming into uh, what he came into and, and trying to build a roster. Uh, nowadays, it, it seems that every season you got to build a brand new roster, and that's in every sport, right? And so him building that roster, learning and going through the adversity of first-year coaches with him, um, being a, a head coach for the first time, I think he did an incredible job. And so we're learning together uh, with our whole staff, and, and uh, uh, I think that has grown exponentially over, over the years, and, and uh, we understand each other really, really well, all of the coaches. Uh, and with that being said, we, are, we know exactly what we want for our roster, and those are the, what we're recruiting to, and that's what we are going to build our team with. And just based on last year, are there any lessons that you can take away you know, from a difficult season like last season that you can start implementing into this spring session? Absolutely. Oh, and to me, it's, it's finding the positives. Uh, through the adversity and how can we get better doing the little things right we ask our kids to do the little things right what can the coaches do to get the little things right build that roster and that trust but what I've learned is that if you keep keep what we call the grit about it the grinding part if you keep the grit and grinding and trust the process that coach Dillingham has in place I, I think that will come out very very good the transfer portal you know, you know you're a big guy that's all about family Mm -hmm. Create a family. How difficult is that now? The transfer portal. How have you guys combating that by focusing on that? Yeah, you know it's hard. Uh, so within the off season, you have to do as much as you can from that part. So, so the so the players start learning about each other, and that's with the coaches too. Because you've seen a new uh, kid in your room every one or two years, and, and, and that's hard. Is it hard to build that culture? I think it's hard to build it now than it, it, it was before because you had kids for four years and you built that and developed that. Um, so you're going to have to put aside a time uh, within the offseason to build that camaraderie, to build that team leadership. And I thought Coach Dillingham has done a great job. And then they're doing it in the strength program where they're building those teams and trust and stuff like that. It's very, it's very hard now. And you see it all around the, the country. It's very hard. But uh, I think the little things that you try and you as consistent as you can be, I think Coach has done a great job doing that. What excites you the most uh, heading into football? She's just getting back to football again. But it, to see a team progress from January to right now, because we see them in the weight room or whatever, um, them progressing and seeing what kind of talent we have on the field, um, I feel very confident that, that uh, we're in a, group, a very good place. Is there a certain player that you think is a really important spring ball that you're looking at for the take a lead? You know, I, I think I think all positions, but of course, uh, to me, the number one position is quarterback position, uh, and that that holds true at the high school, college, and the NFL level. Whoever has the best productive quarterback usually is there at the end. And so, I, I'd like to see. I want to see how that plays out. Um, we're going to do our job from the running back room, getting prepared. But uh, just exciting to see the whole team come about as as, uh, as one team.